Good morning, our brothers and sisters. Come to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God. A God who not only created us, but God who loves us. A God who cares about us right down to the smallest needs in our lives. Praise God for that. Our word of encouragement comes from 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. You know, our lives are full of anxiety, aren't they? For the most part, most of us would say that we have anxiety about all that's going on around us. We have anxiety about politics. We have anxiety about racism. We have anxiety about um, the just the everyday things of life that they can bring upon anxiety. And yet Peter tell, calls upon us to put our anxiety on him. Why? Because God can handle it. God can take care of it. God doesn't say, oh, not Aaron again or not this again. God says, hey, bring me your stuff. Let me have it. I'll take care of it. You can put your trust in me and have your hope and your joy back because I am worried about it. You know, it's hard to believe with the billions of people in, in this world today that God can know us individually, but he does. It's hard to believe that God cares enough that he, would, he takes on our little concerns as well as our big concerns, but he does. It's hard to believe that at the end of the day, God loves us individually. God knows you by name. The Bible says he knows the number of hairs on our head because God loves us. Because God wants that for us. Because God wants us to have his peace and his joy and his hope. You know, the truth is we are simply taking away from ourselves when we hold on to our anxiety, when we hold on to our worry, when we think about what's coming and, and worry about it when there's nothing we can do about it. Anxiety seems to me at least that kind of emotion that, that builds up inside us says, what's going to happen next? And yet, you know, as I look back at my life and uh, and my, I'm not that old, I'm still I'm fairly young, at least in my own mind, um, I see many times where I, I face anxiety that didn't really matter. Why? Because God walked beside me. Because God got me through it. Even though things didn't always go as planned, certainly there were some hard times in life, God was always there. The anxiety that we feel often is dissipated, often uh, goes away as soon as the moment happens because God really is there and God really does take care of it. Praise God for that. And so God is saying, uh, or Peter's saying here, hey, God really cares about you, and therefore let's cast our anxiety upon him. Let's give it to him. Let's trust in him, and let's enjoy life. You know, the reality is that we need to think about the fact that God created us to enjoy this life. Sometimes I think we think and act as if this is just a stepping stone to heaven. Uh, you know, this, is, this time here on earth is short compared to heaven, but God still created it with the idea that we would enjoy ourselves that we would find joy, that we find peace, we find hope in the midst of all that's going on. God doesn't want us to be full of anxiety. He wants to be free from anxiety. So I want to encourage you today, cast your anxiety upon him. Those things that, that the devil brings to mind or, or those things that you you're just happen to be thinking about that, that cause you to, to have anxiety, let's just pray and give them to God. Let's just say a real quick prayer. Even, Lord, you know I'm having anxiety about this. I just give it to you. I trust you. You're going to walk beside me no matter what. And let's say, Lord, just give us your peace. Give us your hope. Let us feel your love. Wrap your arms around us. Let us enjoy this day. And then as we go out into the world today, I pray that God will use us to be a light to others. That his light would shine through. And that our freedom from anxiety, our peace, would show to others in such a way that they'd want what we have. Our relationship with the Almighty God. Wouldn't that be awesome? Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for all that you're about to do in our lives today. Thank you, O God, for loving us so much that we're allowed to cast our anxiety upon you. Thank you for the wisdom and knowledge that you will always walk beside us, even in the tough times. You'll never forsake us. Father, I just pray over this, we give ourselves to you, give our anxiety to you and our worry to you, that you would free us up, that your light would fully shine in such a way that other people would see that light and want to know about you. Father, you please bless those today who are struggling or hurting, Father, those who need your touch, Father, just touch them today, and may they feel your presence. Father, thank you for all that you're about to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. Cast your anxieties upon him. Quick update. Wanted to let you know that, uh, of course, tomorrow we're, we are back to full services. Our district superintendent, uh, Reverend Jerry Kester, is going to be with us tomorrow. So that'll be an exciting day to, to hear from him. Um, also, uh, Children's Church is going to start in just a couple weeks, but Children's Sunday School has already started. And so if you've been waiting for things to start to bring your family back, hey, bring them back tomorrow. Uh, let's get them started getting them plugged in. 
I think they'll enjoy both Sunday school and church. But we would love to see you tomorrow if you can. If not, we understand we're still going to be online. So either way, we hope you'll join us in some way tomorrow. But have a great day today. We love you uh, and God bless you.